officially welcome you to log out log out is going to be a short message that I'll be putting on Facebook or every social media out there um, as laid in my heart the reason why the name log out was given was talking to us as Christians to be able to think about pulling the log out of our own hives before we can help our brother pull the specks out of their hives um, it's going to always be a short message as the leading of the spirit and I feel like this is very very appropriate and very excited about it um, before we go into the message for the, this evening, um, I'd like to pray right quick, and I would like you all to join me in prayer. Eternal Rock of Ages, Father, we thank you, O oh God, for this, and we thank you for the opportunity, O oh God, to have a medium like this, O oh God, the internet, uh, where we all can stream and, and be a light into the world. And I pray, O oh God, that the light that you have inside of me, you give me the strength, O oh God, to push it out by the grace of your Spirit into this world. I ask, O oh God, that you would tame my tongue. And your God, you will you will touch the heart of man, oh God, and your word will go, oh God, and do that which only your word can do in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The short message for tonight is um, actually from the book of Psalms. And it's very, very appropriate to commence um, log out. And the book of Psalms, we're going to open that right quick. Yeah, the, for your phone can be Andy, you know. I'm going to read from Psalm 1 to 3. The Bible says, Psalm 1, sorry, from verse 1 to 3. Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the seats of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his laws does he meditate day and night. The Bible says this is the blessing that comes to such obedience. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that brings forth its fruit in his season, and his leaves also shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. This is a message I know is very sensitive, but at the same time it's very appropriate. When you talk to Christians about their associations, the, the first thing they tell you is, but I'm a Christian, I have, I have a light inside of me, I need to share it in the dark world. And that's what we are called to do. And I do agree with that. But what I do not agree with is when someone that is sent to be a light suddenly finds himself getting pulled into darkness, and their light is becoming insignificant. I think if you if you find yourself in a place, you need to withdraw yourself from such gathering. And that's what the Bible is saying here. It is now your responsibility to set the standard and separate yourself to the calling of God over your life. Another scripture that helps us is in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, when the Bible says, don't you know that this is the temple of the Holy Ghost given to you by God? And this body is no more yours. Um, when we think about these things, it's our responsibility as a Christian to honor this body for God. I'm a father, I have a wife, I have children, and in my house, there's some standards that I've laid. If a friend of mine walk in here and violate those standards, it's my responsibility to keep him in check. So what am I trying to say? It is your responsibility to put yourself as a temple of the Holy Ghost in a place where the name of God is not compromised. It is not our responsibility to bring people to God. The Bible says Paul planted Apollo waters, but only God can give increase. And if you think the best way to give increase is keep going into the, into the world and trying to do what your friends are doing, you're wrong. Because the Bible also says we should let our light shine before men that they may see our good works and give glory to our Father in heaven. If you keep hanging with your friends and compromising your standard, your light cannot shine. The only way your light will shine is if you stand with the word on the word of God and obey the instructions of God, regardless of how your friend feels. And sometimes, sometimes, most often, you will have to separate yourself from some old friends in order to follow the path of the straight narrow. I pray that God will give you the strength too. And I pray that the log out will be a ministry that will bless you. Let's get the logs out of our heart so that we can see the specs in our brother's eyes. Focus on what is good and what is bad. We take care of yourself.